guys. Here's an unusual video. This is not to promote theft, but is a cure for idiocy. Two parts on theirs and mine. Um, I needed a new pair of boots, so I bought a new pair of boots. I tried on the right one. This is the left boot. And I threw it back in the box. I had quite a few things in my order, so I was a little distracted. Um, but they never took off the tamper-proof security device. It's 22 miles to where I bought them. And I'm not going to make that trip again. 44 miles round trip. So, what I'm going to try is, now this is an ink-filled one. And, geez, I don't want to spray red and yellow ink all over my new boots. I tried the magnet gig, but I don't have a strong enough magnet to uh, release this. And I've also seen that you can melt this plastic piece off the back, but obviously that's going to damage the boot. So what I'm going to try, and unfortunately my hacksaw blade <laughs> is pretty beat, but I'm going to put the hacksaw blade in here, and I'm going to keep it tilted towards the security device in a valid attempt to not cut up the boot. So, let us see how this goes. You can't help, Kato. Get out of there. I really wish I had a good hacksaw blade. so tiny. I really thought it would cut right through. Or at least part way through, then I could bend and break it. Good grief. Let's try the other side of the blade. Yeah, look, I, I don't know if you can see how thin that pin is, but it must be tungsten or something crazy, stainless maybe. But anyway, we didn't hurt the boot. Kind of irritated, well, maybe a little bit we did. Right here. Actually, that's on the circle. They really had this thing tight but it's off. I didn't cut the boot open and that saved me a 44 mile drive. And I bet if I'd have had a good hacksaw blade that would have been done in no time. So hopefully this will help somebody or at least you can laugh at me. <laughs> Y'all have a good day. Talk soon.